one thing, for example, is kind of going back to the, the services I offer is, you know, we don't have to really, we don't have to remodel your entire house to benefit from Bostu because, for example, I'm a renter. I can't even paint my wall different colors. So I have to think on different ways on how can I remedy this? How can I fix this area without even, you know, touching a paintbrush to the walls, for example. So there's, there's ways we can kind of look at it. Um, but if you're feeling, if you were feeling ish, there were issues with that, we would look at this, um, this garage door. But because it's good you bring up that you're a remote worker, let's look at your upper floor plan and the space that you work in. Because I wanted to talk to you about that, where I found it interesting. So this is your office space, correct? Yep, office space. Office space. Okay, <laughs> so your office space, I don't know exactly where you sit, but it's in the east southeast area of the home right would you do you sit up up at the top desk or the bottom desk uh the bottom desk? bottom okay so you're probably like right about here yep so the east southeast area of the home actually has to do with anxiety and so i was going to ask you if you've noticed if you're feeling very anxious because you spend a lot of time here you also are kind of sitting in the southeast area of the home which has to do with cash flow so there is abundance in this zone but if you were spending a lot more time kind of over by the window that and you're feeling are you feeling anxious when you work here um i know i hit a time period where i just don't want to be in this room anymore mm -hmm. like if you've if i've got a really long day if I had to start early and had a big deadline or on a bunch of calls all day mm -hmm. then I just want to be out of this room so when I work in the evening on mentor mm -hmm. dino a lot of the times I want to take my laptop out if I don't need a second monitor and go downstairs to the mm -hmm. north living room which would be more in like the n7 and 8 spot mm -hmm. so like what's in here so and then you're working here and then yeah so that makes sense because northeast this area of the home has to do with mind and clarity and then this is the north northeast which has to do with health and immunity so it would make sense that you're gravitating towards this area of the home as well yeah so but generally like feel fine but it's more of those longer days or when you've had a long week um, mm -hmm. As architects, you know, whenever we hit our deadlines and we're in the same room and we need like all of our screens to be able to plow through stuff. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and so what's interesting is hearing about that your husband works in this space. He's got it made. Very <laughs> and <good>. his <laughs> desk is to the north. To the north. Okay. So he's in kind of the west, southwest area which has to do with savings and education so that's very good ideally if you guys could switch spots and you sit here that could be good especially know, education know. side because mentor is all about education. educating exactly and then the southwest area of the home has to do with skills and relationships if you were learning a musical instrument this would be a good area to be practicing it for example because you're trying to better that that skill um but ideally if you guys switched that would be better but i know that going back to my relationship with my husband there's certain certain battles you can win certain battles you kind of have to let go <laughs> on what i can on the changes i can make within our unit so I, but that would be my recommendation if you are noticing a lot of issues and maybe you know if he's not in his office go try sitting there yeah. if you don't know anything and um give it a try you know it's not going to be like after one time but it, it'll make sense that you would be it would be better if you were over in this area yeah just invade yeah. <laughs> like i didn't do anything there's the energy like i feel like this energy zone is better for you so <laughs> you can have him talk to me and i'll tell him this is this is better but um so that's so those are some things um one thing i did want to that I kind of saw that was a little bit of an issue, and I have this in my apartment, which is um, something I want to cover, is the center point, which is very important in Vastu because it's called the Bromstan, and it's the center. It's where all the energies emerge in the home, and you want this space to be as clear as possible.
So no load bearing walls, no storage, and especially no toilet. We have a <laughs> and the center is pretty much <laughs> right on the toilet. <laughs> It is. And I have this condition in my home. We have a powder room on our lower level and it's right in the center of the of the um the Bromstan. And so the things so what you can do with that is well what why one thing if you have you noticed any having a toilet in this in the Bromstan can lead to financial loss and also issues with your digestion. So I know those are personal questions, but you don't have to answer it. If you feel like you're having any financial issues or you feel like you're having digestive issues, um, I would refrain from using this toilet as often as possible. What you can do is just close the lid and just leave it. You can wrap it in fabric if, you, if you'd if you like. Um, we, I just don't use that toilet. For me, I just don't use that. My husband uses the toilet. That's his um, prerogative. I stopped using that toilet when I found that out, that it could mean that there's financial loss and health issues. Um, so I would recommend using more of the upstairs toilet, which is kind of close to the Brumstone, but you're still good. Um, this toilet, and looking at toilets in Vostu as well, when we look at the, the bathroom, we don't look at the shower location, the sink location. We look at where the toilet is located because the toilet signifies disposable disposal of energy, including washing machines are similarly. Um, so the toilet is flushing away whatever that is. So your toilet upstairs is mostly in the north, northwest, northwest zone. So the north, northwest zone has to do with um, attraction and like sexuality. So this would have to do with if you were, for example, like a movie star or a model and your career really depended on like your attraction, we would want to make sure this zone is really good, right? Because right now, like your sexual, or if you were trying to conceive, for example, um, this would kind of be an issue we would look at. And then the Northwest has to do with banking and support. So that means you're flushing your money away. So these aren't ideal areas to have the toilet. Um, I would actually recommend remodel. If you could, if you want if a more intensive remodel would be, you have the West Northwest area of the home, which has to do with um, depression and anxiety. I would move the toilet to this area of the house of the zone, for example. So pretty much, if you mirrored it, like put the sink yeah. and toilet on the other side, and have the door to the north. Yeah, yeah, that would actually be yeah, exactly. If you mirrored it, then that would that would work. I mean, you're so close to the Bromstone, but you're in a better zone. Yeah, it's yeah. the west northwest. Check out the full discussion from this bite of advice here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on more Mentor Dino content.